Hello there. In this video, I want to go over installation configuration and how to use text to image extensions for the stable diffusion automatic 1111 install. To do this, we want to go first in our extension tab. On the extension tab, let's go click on available and click on load from. So this way you can access to a list of all new extensions. From list of these extensions, select the one that is called okay, right here text to image. And this is will be model scope text to video. Just click on install and this is should loaded libraries necessary libraries and everything i would recommend for you to little bit wait because it will downloaded some elements but it's one downloaded everything that we needed to do everything uploaded we actually need to go to model scope so go ahead right click and says open in new tab and this is should open bring you to the github i will provide link for this as well in description so you can go directly from that link right here you will notice you have it all instructions of installations and what we also needed we need downloaded separate these four files notice this is a large size file so it may take a little bit time to download you can access those files by clicking on original hugging face or i will provide link as well for you to directly access these files what do we need downloaded it's vq game this file five gigabyte we, you sure you need downloaded configuration JSON, open clip, and text to video. So all of these libraries need download. As I said before, it's quite a bit big size, but you must have them for the, this extension to work properly. Then you actually need to go inside your stable diffusion folder, models, and there you need to create folder. It's one create folder for you. Maybe it's will in with other script for me it did not create it so i need to create model scope notice it's capital m and s inside the models inside the model scope you need to create t double uh, t two v folder so inside this folder it's where we're going to place four files be sure you have the configuration json file as well and we need to have it the open clip per to Azure bean model text to video and vq gain so all of these four files there. After you finish installation and copy file, be sure after installations, you click to apply and restart. So it will reload it, your UI and register all extensions. You'll notice your extension installed properly when you start having this tab on the top. It says model scope text to video. Let's go ahead and click and open this. Right on top, you have it four tabs text to video, video to video, output. And if you have questions how to install, you can follow directly to those instructions if you need it as well. So let's go back to our text to text. Right here, you'll notice you have it your prompt, negative prompt, steps, which we're familiar and CFG scale, also width and height for render video, seed if you want to reuse it, and in some cases, I would recommend you can go back to your text to text experiment here with a prompt seed and everything. And you can copy to your prompt inside the text video to use here. Next, we have it, how many total frames you want to produce. This is how many single images will be rendered. Okay. And also batch if you need it. Video to video. Well, similar only that will take your video and split on a segment frame that way you can have the video already done don't worry about extrapolation frames it will process for you by the way to process all of them you needed ffmpeg install it on your machine and if you do not have install yet i would provide links for you directly to this so here you can go just simple download it and easy ways to install it on your machine. One thing, uh, just let you know, for me, when I install FFmpeg on my machine, it would require actually restart my machine to properly register um, the applications. 
it's maybe related just to my installations on yours it will maybe work differently but just to let you know that is what happening on my machine okay let's go back to our stable diffusion assuming you install all the necessary components and then you can provide and work with video to video by the way ffmpeg will also require to assemble your video in the end if you need it without this it will be single frames and you can assemble in different applications if you need it to assemble in all these properties will provide an output settings so right here you can see it's frames per second by default it will be 15. i would recommend for you to use it 12 or 24. 24 is what default movie 12 it's what mostly animations is using you also can embed sound inside if you want to include soundtrack for your video as you create it now right here notice you have it skip video creations it's in a case if you don't want to use it ffmpeg and you want to assemble frames by yourself then you can just check this otherwise you can enable here notice we have additional properties how this move um, the frames and frame interpolation will going so i will say just leave it as preset i did play a little bit before and did not find that much different the bottom one it's where your ffmpeg is located if for some reason you have it in different locations you can always check here for different versions that you need it this is all about what you need to do it's very simple and very easy to kind of work applications when you're done after this if you go to text to video you can just type your uh, prompt you can type negative prompt whatever you need step and here go you can create animations personally i found it still be a little bit jumpy kind of it does not provide very smooth animations but it does have a very fun way to do actually it's performed better if you do like maybe fireworks or some other option so let me say what's happening here let's look on this so i'm typing fireworks in a prompt and let's open my cmd you'll notice it is preloaded config is running and i click on generate so this is start executing me um in my server we would not have a direct process going or progress bar on our ui it's the reason why i like to open the have it command prompt up front so i can see when it's done and you can see right here it was processing creating frames compiling all of them together and stitching when stitching is done it's we're ready so we'll go ahead click update this video and you can see right here we upload it let's go click play and there you can see our fireworks as i said before it is still have a little bit juggling kind of um flickering maybe animation but i don't think it's total flickering i think it's kind of uh frame interpolations maybe can work which we can utilize another software to make it much smoother but overall i think it's very fun interesting application take to text to video um, to create some interesting maybe animated um, gifts small videos small animations i definitely will play a little bit more with a larger size see how long it will take it and i hope you'll find this video very interesting and something inspiring and hope <laughs> hope help you to create interesting animations thank you for watching if you like this video give us a thumb up subscribe share help my channel grow i appreciate all of your support thank you